Left 4 Dead 2 still has a lot of qualities that have you asking questions to the legitimacy of some shit that occurs. Yeah, it's a game, but we question fake worlds all the time. Why else would you be watching this video in the first place? Now, if you haven't already watched the first video in the series, check it out by clicking the link below. I tried to do another top 10 weird things, but time constraints and lack of anything else came to mind. So if you have any suggestions as to anything you find weird in the Left 4 Dead universe or mechanic, let me know in the comments. Let's get to another five weird or strange things in Left Left 4 Dead 2 in no particular order. First off, tanks tearing asphalt and rocks out of anything. You see a tank running along a fence line and you're 50 feet away. Surely you're safe from harm until he comes charging at you and he's pulling a giant slab of concrete from that little rickety ass fence and he's throwing it at me? No matter the terrain or position, the tank manages to unearth a massive piece of rock and toss it at you. Whether he's on top of a building, a wooden bridge, or car, he will magically summon a piece of asphalt to take you out from long distances. Ain't that a bitch? Next is the Special Infected's immunity to dismemberment. Valve spent a large majority of their developer commentary talking about the damage physics on the common infected, making hundreds of different outcomes of killing a common infected depending on how you attack them. Slicing off their body parts, shooting their guts out, or their dick off. Ow! Ah! Ow! Oh, dude, you shot him in the dick. Huh? That's not cool, Butters. You don't shoot a guy in the dick. Well, I was just trying to stop him, and you said- It doesn't matter, Butters. You never shoot a guy in the dick. It's a genuinely awesome way to give variety to your killing spree. But then the special infected waltz in and take an axe to the head, but just plop over like a piece of Laffy Taffy, jiggling around with every hit. Maybe in Left 4 Dead 3, we can have the ability to chop that fucking annoying jockey's head off. Jesus Christ. Continuing on, in most zombie movies, people are searching for boats to sail off into the sunset and away from the apocalypse. And the undead tend to refrain from even touching bodies of water, except in Land of the Dead where they just walk along the bottom. But we barely see people just swimming away to escape a horde and live on. In Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, the water is immediate death for the survivors. Gameplay wise, it makes total sense, but realistically, coach, get your fat ass swimming instead of sinking like a rock. You'll float in the water in the tank. Well, just watch him descend into the watery depths as he struggles to swim since he never did leg day. <laughs> Tanks, as seen in the Left 4 Dead 1 intro, are constantly on the move for their next kill. But then you'll be making a corner and BAM! A big ass tank's just sitting there minding his own business for some reason staring at the wall. Or you'll hear their disgruntled grunts and groans until you hit the radius that they're inhabiting. It's a stretch for me to say, but I feel like tanks could always be looking for something to smash, if you know what I mean. Last, but certainly not least, no matter how they die, keep looking for your friends in the closet. Much like the defib bringing back someone no matter how gruesome or violent the death, the hero closet can bring someone back from death itself just by opening the door of a person who forgot to open a door like an infected? Who doesn't know how to open doors? Does that mean, does that mean the survivor's infected now? Quick someone, call Illuminati! Besides the new conspiracies, we all know our best friends are all just waiting in the closet after their death. They just need a friend to help them out of the closet. Well, that's all I could come up with when it comes to weird things in Left 4 Dead 2. Like I said at the beginning, if there's anything I missed, let me know in the comments and I'll see you about making a third installment. I'm still piecing together a best of video, so sit tight for that. Now, I will continue to keep doing Left 4 Dead live streams in the future, but all of this YouTube work I've been doing for the game recently has really made me lose steam when it comes to playing the game, no pun intended. So in the near future, I will be branching out and playing other games in my live streams as well, but don't worry, I'll continue playing Left 4 Dead 2 as well, just not exclusively. Is there a game you want to see us play? Let me know in the comments. I'm super fond of Overwatch, and I really enjoy Halo 5 custom games, and soon I'll have my PC up and running to play crazy shit like Friday the 13th the game. I've been looking forward to playing that for a while. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Zach S with Wow Such Gaming. Day Wow!